Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and Dragons, and we're going to talk about Stranger Things, Season 1, Episode 1, and we're going to talk about literally the first thing that comes up on the screen, um, November 6th, 1983. And I want to talk about this um, from my Stranger Things, Season 1, Episode 1, Dungeon Masters viewing. So I took the time, and I, I watched through all four seasons of, uh, of Stranger Things, and I wanted to talk about, excuse me, um, I wanted to talk, excuse me, I wanted to talk about this date, November 6, 1983. So the Duffer Brothers come in and they are really establishing that the number one piece of entertainment in American history is going to be this show. And it's gonna be grounded fundamentally in a Dungeon Dragons, right? And the way they do that is they, everything in Stranger Things is centered around Dungeons and Dragons. It's the heart of the show. It's what matters. It's really critically important, right? And so this date is very important and it is November 6th, 1983. And so what does that mean for us? So one, um, the Duffer brothers are saying this is at the heart. This is the, at the heart of the satanic panic, right? So at this point in Stranger Things episode one, uh, the Duffer Brothers are saying, hey, this is what, you know, this is nine years into Dungeons and Dragons history, and America is terrified of Dungeons and Dragons. They believe it's occult based. Uh, they believe that um, kids are going to get lost in this world and are not going to be found, uh, be able to find their way out. Now, is that a ridiculous idea from American parents? Not at all. Like, it's not, it's not even remotely ridiculous, right? And the reason why is, look, like, you could see, like if somebody's like, oh yeah, you know, people were worried that their kids were going to get confused and get lost in Dungeons and Dragons. Not a joke. This is real. Look at it, right? Gary Gygax literally made the night the 1983 um, cartoon. He started it by saying, "Hey, this cartoon about Dungeons and Dragons is not about Dungeons and Dragons adventures. It's about your kids who play Dungeons and Dragons." And guess what happens in this cartoon? They get lost in the world and can't find their way back. Right? Like, parents who were terrified of Dungeons and Dragons were terrified because Dungeons and Dragons was telling them, be terrified. Right? Like, yes, we're here. This is nine years in, and this is like nothing you've ever seen. This isn't a story told like any other story. This will capture your kids. Right? They will live in these worlds right? It was profound, right? And it wasn't unwarranted and unprecedented. It wasn't ridiculous. Gary was saying it himself. He's like, let me do an entire show where your kid, the, the one that you're terrified is going to get lost in the Dungeons and Dragons world. I'm going to do an entire animated television show where your kid gets lost in the Dungeons and Dragons world. I'm going to put it on television every Saturday. Your deepest nightmare, I'm going to present it in full illustration. Like, it wasn't an unwarranted fear. Fear, Like, Gary knew what he was doing was fundamentally different than anything that had ever been done before, right? So, and the Duffer Brothers are like, this is in the, the thick of it. This is in the thick of it, right? Like, the thick of the satanic panic, right? And then also, like, parents were like, hey, I think there's occult messages. Dude, the Dungeon Master Guide has an undressed woman held by a giant demon. Yeah, there was a, there was occult messages in Dungeons and Dragons at the time. They weren't even veiled. Like it was very very like yes, right like you know. And so parents parents were not wrong to be worried on November 6, 1983 about Dungeons and Dragons. It was fundamentally changing the world and in less than a decade, right? Gary was throwing down the gauntlet and being like, yeah, you better recognize what I'm doing here. This ain't like any game that's ever been released. This ain't a thimble and a, and a top hat and a, you know, a wealthy guy in a car. Like this ain't Monopoly, man. This is very serious, right? And he would, I feel like he was warning the world that Dungeons and Dragons had arrived and no narrative in the history of humanity would ever remain the same. No secular narrative. Literally, the process for telling stories would fundamentally change, right? And 
November 6th, 1983 is a date that grounds episode one, season one of Stranger Things and really just tells the viewer, we're talking about Dungeons and Dragons. You don't know what Dungeons and Dragons is. You don't know its history, right? And the reality is I believe we don't really know what Dungeons and Dragons is and we don't know its history. Right now, there's a huge obfusc obfuscation on Dungeons and Dragons history. What do, we, what do we have wrong about Dungeons and Dragons history right now? Every single thing that's ever been written on Lorraine Williams in any scholarly book is a lie, in my own opinion. It is the most, like, assassination of a legacy that has ever been committed. Lorraine Williams was an incredibly progressive female CEO in an industry that had, that to this day, you can count the number of CEOs on one hand right? And um, of significant tabletop role-playing games. Um, Paizo had one. And I think that's it. I think the list is literally two. You'll have extra fingers when you get done counting, right? And um, it's astounding, right? Is Kelsey Dion a CEO? I don't know. It's a good question. Right? Maybe there's three now, but like, and so there was obfuscation, right? And so I think this 19, this November 6, 1983 date is grounding us in you don't know what Dungeons and Dragons is you're watching this in 20 you know when did the first episode of Stranger Things come out that's a good question it's at least four or five years ago um it's probably getting on six or seven eight years right um but I think it was the Duffer Brothers really saying you don't know what Dungeons and Dragons is um in my humble opinion every single word you just heard about season one episode one of Stranger Things is my humble opinion. The important part's when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider like subscribing and have a fetch millennium.